Hello guys, this is Mr. TriPi, and today I'm going to show you how to model 2D graphs for your video games. So I'm going to start by centering it. Just by Shift C. Hit mesh, plane. Going to tab into edit mode. Hit S to scale it down. Rotate on one axis by 90 degrees. And then drag it up a bit. Then I'm going to use the numpad and snap it to specific direction. Hit U. Project from view bounds, which will make sure that it's perfectly unwrapped and um, have the top be the top so you don't have to worry about rotating it or anything. Next, what you want to do is hit Control R to, and scroll up a few times to adding some loops. These loops will allow you to have a wind and have it, you know, curve and bend with a wind using a shader in your game engine. Next, you go into vertex paint mode and use the tool wall, or, which is open with T if it's closed. And near the bottom, you're going to want it, at the bottom, you're going to want to paint it to zero or completely black. Then you want to have it about 75 the next layer at 75 and 50 and about 25 and I keep the top completely white with the vertex paint you can multiply the vertex paint by the wind in your shader so that the bottom which is black for zero will not move at all while the top, which is white, will have the full effect and in between will have middle amounts of effects. So that way the entire grass doesn't just keep on sliding. Next, you need to go back into edit mode. So in edit mode, you then want to go into a normal editor I'm going to use the one from Blend for Web, which is a free add-on you can download. I'll have a link to that in the description. First, you have to activate and show normals and scroll it up so that you can actually see them because otherwise it'll be really tiny. So next, you just hit each of these and just set to straight up. Now this is going to cause it to be completely transparent on one side if you have back face calling on like in, you would have in a video game by default. So you need to shift D to copy, rotate Z, hit RZ 180 to rotate it 180 degrees to get it on both sides. Next you need to shift Hit Shift D to copy it and rotate Z another 90 degrees. You can also duplicate it another time and rotate everything by 45 degrees and you can experiment if this makes it look better or not in your game. So now you should hopefully have it perfectly done. And then next, what you need to do is you need to have a texture to apply to this. So you could either do this by painting it in any image at any program, such as Photoshop, Krita, GIMP, etc., etc., or you could go by modeling it and then rendering that model as a texture to put onto this. So if you're just going to paint it, I'm not going to show you how to do that since you should be able to figure that out yourself. So please like and subscribe. Otherwise, continue watching the video and I'll show you how to do the rendering technique. So next you're going to tab out into object mode, hit H to hide it. And we're going to create some 3D grass to render to. I'm going to shift A, hit plane to add a plane. Scale it down, rotate it X 90. I can dra then drag this up, hit Control R to add a loop. 
drag it out a little to add the curve. Scale this down. Then hit Control R again and drag it out on the bottom to bend it across a bit. That gets select this. Hit, hit Control B for bevel and then slide it up and that'll make the grass nice and curved. And then I can go in here and make it smoothly shaded. So I can then rotate this Z, copy it a few times. Scale it different amounts. And then you can render it from this view by adding Shift A and then adding a camera. Well, so you're gonna want to choose a render size of say 128, say 512 by 512. You can then hit zero to bring it into the camera mode and hit Control Q to bring it into um, four into quad view. In the camera settings, you're going to need to increase the clip size, say 10 meters. And you're going to want to make, make it orthogonic. Yeah, make it orthogonic and change the size and drag it out. and boost the size a little bit more, make it square, make it a little bit smaller, and just have like the bottoms of the grass clipped off. Okay, and then next you need to go back into, hit Control Q again, and go here. You're going to want to make sure the scene is nicely lit, so add some lamps, and probably an area lamp. And I'm going to boost the strength of this. Boost the strength of your light until it's good. Maybe just a little more. Maybe a little. I'm going to use this. I want it to be mostly white, but have, you know, a little bit of shading. And I'm going to want to actually render it. Okay, first I'm going to want to make sure that um, my first plane that's hidden isn't going to be rendered into view 2. <laughs> and then I'm going to want to make sure that it's transparent. You can make it transparent by going to film and hitting transparent. And this will be your texture. And what you can do is multiply this by a green color and try and match it with the landscape color underneath. You can, you can um, then save this image. And then you're going to want to go hit F11 to get out of there. And you're going to want to export your grass model here. OK, so this is the shader that I used for the grass in Unreal. I just took green multiplied it by the grass texture to make the base color used 
the alpha of the grass texture as the opacity mask. And then I took the simple grass wind with 0.5 in each of these and multiplied it by the vertex color. I only used red because I don't need all three channels, which will give it wind, but only do it from the top and not have the bottom moving too. I also used the pixel def offset trick so that it blends in with the ground where you multiply dither temporal AA by a number. And if I take that out, if I take that out, um, then it looks like that. And if I put it back in, it will blend. But on the other side, it's going to have this ghostly look whenever it is near an object. So it's a trade off. This was Mr. Tripi. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Thank you.